Hello everyone. In today's video I will be showing you how to replace the coolant pump on a Suzuki Grand Vitara 1.6 liter engine 16 valves 93 horsepower. First of all we need to remove the four nuts which are holding the cooling fan by using spanner 11 millimeters take your time it will free us enough space to to work further on Okay, now the fan is removed. As you can see. The next step. Let's remove the upper radiator hose by using special pliers. We have spring type uh, clamps holding the hose. It's quite simple to remove it. As you can see, we already started to drain the coolant at the bottom of the radiator we have a, a drain plug and just unscrew it and let the coolant out what's next we need to unscrew two bolts holding the radiator by using uh, 12 millimeter socket from each side once we do that we can move up and down complete radiator with the diffuser one very special thing about that Grand Vitara is uh, that this car has an automatic transmission and because of that the coolant hoses are connected straight to the radiator and this doesn't allow us to remove complete radiator we can do that of course we need to disconnect the hoses but it's more simple to just remove the diffuser it is held by four screws upper screw and then lower one on one side same thing on the other side okay now we are ready to pull out the diffuser and that will give us enough space to remove the coolant pump but before that we still have a lot of things to remove our next step is to remove the belts now that the cooling fan is out we can freely pull out the cooling fan pulley and remove one of the belts just like that and now we have to remove the other belt in order to do that we have to slack the bracket holding the AC compressor 
and this way we're gonna select the the belt and we can remove it okay here as you can see the bracket of the AC compressor is slacked and the belt is out Our next step is to remove the timing cover, timing plastic cover, held by two nuts, 12 millimeters, I believe, and to put the engine on timing. Later on, I will show you the marks. Now, I'm slacking the eccentric pulley which is uh, tensioning the belt actually is the pulley tensioner as I said make sure the engine is on timing before you do that because we need to remove the timing belt and in order to remove the coolant pump We have a mark on the camshaft gear, you can see it right here. And we have another mark on the crankshaft, which I will show you in a second. This is the one. It has to be aligned with that arrow. And that's our coolant pump. The reason uh, we are replacing the coolant pump is because it's leaking through the mechanical seal. And I believe uh, that pump has more than 70,000 miles. Here, as you can see, the oil dipstick is obstructing uh, the coolant pump. We cannot remove it without slacking the oil dipstick. Because there is a bolt behind it, which is holding the pump. But there is something else. The alternator also has to be uh, slacked and needs to move. Uh, it is uh, held uh, by a bracket same way as the AC compressor and uh, that bracket is movable and thanks to that bracket you can slack and tie the belt so we need to slack the bracket of the alternator and we need to move it a little bit out of the way in order to remove all the bolts of the coolant pump and remove the coolant pump as well
As you can see now the dipstick it's uh, movable and uh, we can remove the bolt behind it. It's not necessary to remove complete uh, all dipstick. Okay, all the bolts of the pump is are removed and uh, almost ready to be replaced. The last step is to slug the alternator and move it a little bit out of the way so we can pull out the pump. Just like that, using some long bar or long screwdriver curved. Okay, now the pump is out. Condition of the impeller is really bad. Make sure you clean up the old gasket. As you can see, everything is installed back in the reversed order with the new coolant pump the condition is quite bad the impeller is rusty and mechanical seal also gasket was leaking as well on that pump thanks for watching please subscribe if you think that video was helpful